Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 153 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying out another new NYX product that I picked up recently when I did a haul. If you want to see my video on the NYX haul that I did, I'll link that down below. I did the haul when I went and bought the new NYX Swear By It palette and Oh, you have to check out that palette. You have to check out my video on it. It's such a cool palette. But so when NYX released that palette, they also released some other products, this being one of them. This is the NYX Foil Play. It's a funny play on words there. <laughs> Cream Pigment. And I picked it up in the shade Digital Glitch. But they have this in 12 different shades. This is kind of a green turquoisey shade. It retails for $7.50 and NYX is a cruelty free brand. I had such a hard time picking out what color to get when I was at the store. They had so many pretty shades and I just felt like this one was very like different from anything I have already. So when you take the cap off, it has this little plastic stopper in it. And now it's just like a pot of loose, shimmery pieces. So I'm just gonna take an eyeshadow applicator and dip it in. Let's see if we can pick up some of the pigment. And then let's see how it swatches. Okay, now <laughs> this is very tricky to work with. I'm gonna try dampening the applicator. You can see the difference of when it was dampened and then when it wasn't dampened. So definitely works better. You get more pigment payoff and less of a mess if you dampen it, but it's still very messy. There's pieces of kind of eyeshadow all over the place. Loving this color though. Very pretty metallic sheen finish. Doesn't really smudge and it seems to be staying in place very nicely. Let's go ahead and apply it to my eye. For this video, I'm just going to apply it to my entire eyelid so we can really see how it performs, even though I think typically this would go with other eyeshadow colors. I'm just gonna dampen my brush again. So this is honestly one of my first times working with a pure pigment product, and this claimed to be like creamy and blendable, but I am really not seeing it. It just feels grainy because that's really what it is. It's just like pieces of like this metallic teal like grain and they're like teeny tiny and I can feel the texture, like the rough texture as I'm like rubbing it in. But as I'm applying it and have now achieved the full color, it does look really great really great color payoff when i'm using a damp applicator so messy though like a lot of fallout and here we have it like the thing with this it wouldn't work as a lower lash line product because it's just like these tiny little pieces and if i try like rubbing it on they're just gonna get all over the place and like into my eye and I don't want that happening. But it's like now that I'm looking at it on my eye, that whole mess and difficulty of applying is worth it because of how pretty this looks. I absolutely love how metallic it is. And this digital glitch shade is gorgeous. Like it's a really pretty like marine turquoise shade. It has really pretty shimmer to it and it's not creasing. So that's really good. Is it worth $7.50? I think I'm okay with that price point because the color and the pigment payoff like is so good and it's so vivid and really does have a beautiful finish. It does seem like a good quality eye pigment. I just don't really like the texture and the application process of it. I would prefer a cream pigment, which I have right here. NYX also came out with their Foil Play Cream Eyeshadow. So tomorrow I'm gonna try this out and maybe I'll like this kind of application better. 
we'll see. I just think that this one is too messy and too difficult to work with when I have other ways of applying basically the same look. Like I personally would choose a cream eyeshadow, an eyeshadow pencil, or even just an eyeshadow out of a palette before I'd ever choose to apply it with this like tub. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about loose pigment type of eyeshadow products. I definitely feel like this would last a long time. It is like a tiny little container, but you don't need that much to get full pigmented look. So this would definitely last a long time. And I really feel like you can get your $7.50 worth from this amount. It's funny that I've been talking with just one eye done, but I'm not going to continue to wear this today, but I am happy that I tried it out. And now I can say I've tried out a pigment. So that's also exciting to me to be trying a whole different new type of product. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.